to me to start the, uh, wanting me to intervene, I tell them that uh, you told me that the, I should go find my fellow boys to play with. So if you want to, also for you, if you are fighting, please deal with your problem with yourself because the, you tell, I told you that the, if you don't intervene with me, I also won't intervene with your plan. So anyways, when I was growing up in Malawi, we use, uh, we depend on growing a lot of like crops. We grow our own crops, we grow a lot of maize, uh, sweet potatoes, ice potato, uh, soya beans. Back in the days, we used to grow uh, tobacco. My family used to, be, to grow tobacco. But there are some people who are still growing tobacco nowadays. So farming in Malawi has a number of challenges. Um, some of the challenges is to do with the weather, the price of the seeds, and the price of uh, the fertilizer, because you have to plant, to apply fertilizer in order for you to have enough, uh, um, to harvest enough crops. So if the price of uh, seeds or the price of fertilizer goes up as a farmer, you can be living in difficult situation. So in the, the other challenge is the weather. With the weather, you don't have control over it because we do rain fed agriculture. You have to have plant during the rain season. So some years you can have good years where you have a lot of uh, crops and some years will be like very difficult years where the rain didn't have, uh, you don't have enough rain. So in 2000 to 2001 growing season, we experienced one of these challenges. There was a drought. Because of that drought, the crop didn't do well. People only harvested a quarter amount of what they were hoping. That meant that they had to live up on that quarter amount for the entire year until the next harvesting season, which was very difficult to most people in the rural areas. Because people in the rural areas only found money during the harvesting season. So when the time came for planting season again, they had nothing and they also didn't even have food to eat. So the hunger broke out the entire country. A lot of people were starving to death. Even my family was badly affected by the situation at that time. The food that they were selling on the market was coming in from the neighboring country, Tanzania. Because of the situation, a lot of people were selling it. They were tripling in the price because there was nowhere else where people could go to buy food. So that meant that people were selling their belongings, stuff that they have worked for a long time, selling at very low price, so that a small amount of money that they can find, it will be enough for them to buy food to feed their family. Even my family, during that time, my mother decided to start a business to sell cakes. She grinded all the corn that we remained with to make cakes so that she can sell at the market, hoping that the profit that she makes, it will be enough to sustain us to buy more food for the entire, the rest of the season until the next harvesting. It was very challenging. That wasn't enough. They also had to have another measure which at that time we started eating one meal per day only at night so that the small amount of food that we had could sustain us. That time when the hunger was happening, it was the same time that I was supposed to start a high school. In Malawi, high schools you have to pay for it, while primary schools are for free. Because of the situation, my parents couldn't afford to pay for my school fees. I was forced to drop out of school. When I had to drop out of school, I looked around and I looked at my father and all those dry food around him. That wasn't the future I could accept. I didn't want to become like him. I didn't want to become a farmer. It's not that I didn't want to become a farmer because I hate farming, no. I love farming. But I didn't want to become a farmer just because that's the only thing that I can do with my life. A lot of 
people are farmers in Malawi, not by choice, but they are farmers because of the circumstances that they are in. Their only hope is to grow enough food that they can be able to feed their families. 